Let's review 10 tips to write prompts that work. Today, let's see a presentation on how to write prompts that give you a better result. And basically, the first point is to tell the chat, act as a professional. For example, act like a marketing manager, act like a product designer, or act like a front-end developer. When you start a prompt in that way, you focus the machine on some area in its brain, and then you will get better results. So first of all, when you start a prompt, write what professional you want the AI will be. Next thing is be precise. A bad example will be, here's a list of colors that I need to analyze. Better option will be, here's a list of four colors that I need to analyze. When you are very specific on one you need, you will get much more better and accurate result. It is important to clarify your goal. So don't write something like, tell me something about design. It will be much better to write, describe the key principle of user-centered design because it, you explain exactly what you want from the machine to do. By the way, in this presentation, you will see that I repeat again and again to be precise because it's very important to be precise with the AI and doesn't matter what tool you use, ChatGPT or Claude, to get a very good result. Next, be direct and clear. For example, don't write something very vague from what the interactive function of white space in the domain of US user experience, be focused, write something like, what is the function of white space in UX design? You see, also you understand it better. You can add a prompt instructional guide. For example, design a landing page for fitness app. Make it simple, include clear call to action, set a clear visual hierarchy. You see, you explain exactly what you want the AI will do. And that will be much more better because if you write design a landing page for fitness app, it will design for you, but it's not have more information to be more precise with your needs. In a case you have target audience, mention it in the prompt. In that case, explain to my product manager the importance of usability testing in the design process. Okay, so you see I explained exactly who are the person that I want the AI will create the message for them. In many cases, it will be super important to add examples. Now, in the world of the AI, it's called shots. For example, zero shot, one shot, or few shots. Shots mean example. Let's put it simple. Here you can see a prompt that I write to the AI to write me an error message from my application I work, and that's without example. Okay, I want that it to be title, message, and call to action. But if I will add an example, as you can see here, the title, the message, and the call to action, the NLM will understand better what I want it will give me because I focus it on some example. Now you can add one example or a few shots, it's the same. So here you can see example one and example two. Another thing is called chain of thought. Let's put it simple, guide with steps. I say to the machine how I want exactly it to perform the task. In that case, I need to translate this text into Spanish and make it better. Do it in steps. First, translate to Spanish. Second, improve the text to make it more readable. So here I explain to the AI that I want it to be two steps, translate it, make it better. Of course, this is very simple example only to demonstrate for you, but basically it can be more complex and with more steps. Now I want to say one thing, with the new type of reasoning model, this chain of thought, it will be less and less important. But for now, the reasoning model are very expensive and you don't need always to use them to get a great result. So chain of thought in that case will solve the issue. And at the end of the prompt, add emotional text like I will tip you $100 for a good solution or do a good job, it is important for my professional career. Many studies shows that adding this type of text at the end of the prompt will improve the quality of the result. I can also explain why it's happened, but uh, let's focus today on that tips. And it is important to know that it's not necessary always to write a very long prompt to get great result. For example, if you want to fix grammatical errors, prompt like, can you correct the grammatical errors will be enough. You don't need to write something very long like act like a great content writer, you are skinny helping product designers, blah, 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 blah. Of course, the long prompt will give you good results, but basically it's not necessary. I show you now 10 tips, but you don't need to use all of them to create great prompts. You can think about it like uh, cooking in the kitchen. You have a lot of spices in the kitchen, but you don't use all of them to make every dish. Let's take a look about one prompt that I added many of these tips inside so you can see how it's look. Here is the prompt and before you ask, the prompt and the presentation will be in the description. And uh, hit subscribe now. Here I explain that I want that you will act as a professional product designer. I explain the audience that are product designer and the objective is to help them to brainstorm. Below I add guides and instruction. Below I add an example on how I want it will respond me and at the end information about my specific case. What is the product, what I need to design, the user, etc., etc. So these are the 10 tips to write great prompts. If you have more tips, write them in the comment. If you have a questions, write them in the comments. I will answer you. 
And as I always said, if you want that I will make a tutorial on specific topic, again, in the comments. That's all for today. If you're the product designer or training about AI and product design, contact me. My information in the description. Please like and subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye.